Hello guys, welcome back to another video of SpaceX updates. We have a new MSIB for Starship testing from January 18th to 20. This is interesting though, as many people are speculating it's for the static fire test. However, we haven't seen any overpressure notice alert yet that local officials usually hand out to the Boca Chica residents before a possible static fire test. Or we may see the full wet dress rehearsal. Either way, it's all good. It will be a big step toward the late February or early March target of the Starship orbital flight. I'm not too sure about the static fire test, but let SpaceX prove us wrong again. Yesterday, Starship S-25 was lifted onto the test stand at the suborbital pad. Soon, it will start its cryogenic proof test. Starship S-25 will probably fly with Booster 9. Remember, a couple of days ago, Elon said they are aiming to make five full-stack Starships this year. It's not clear if that includes the one already on the launch mount. But once the star factories of both Texas and Florida are completed, I have no doubt that there will be rapid production of Starship rockets. They are gonna need a lot of Starships for demonstration missions including orbital refilling tests. During a NASA Advisory Council meeting held yesterday, NASA's former Space Shuttle Program Manager, Wayne Hale said the Starship orbital flight is imminent. Yeah, we all know that. But he also made an interesting statement that made people raise their eyebrows. He said, Lunar Starship officially known as HLS is expected to land on the moon for a demonstration mission this year. I mean, it can happen. But where does that data come from? We haven't reached orbit yet, let alone all the refilling test missions needed to demonstrate the full concept of Starship. How can we land on the moon this year? This is simply impossible. Why? Because to send a Starship to the moon, we have to launch multiple Starships from multiple pads too. But the Starship launch site at Pad 39A is not even through its halfway mark from completion. Above that, where is the lunar version of the Starship, we want to have a look. Or was it a slip of the tongue? If not, the statement itself is an eye-opener. Are SpaceX and NASA planning to conduct some badass testing campaign later this year? SpaceX will launch its fourth mission of the year this morning from SLC-40 at Cape. A Falcon 9 carrying GPS-36 space vehicle will lift off at 7.10 a.m. Eastern Time. The first stage booster for this mission will be on its second flight and after stage separation, it will land on an autonomous drone ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. Rocket Lab is now targeting January 23rd for the launch of its first mission from U.S. soil. Virginia is for launch lovers. The mission was delayed from last year in December due to bad weather conditions. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.